Emma Payne lives in Chesterfield with fiance Lee Hamlin and their 10 children. Mitchell 16, Mason 14, Jordan 13, Shannon 12, Callum 8, Dylan 6, Ellie 5, Fallon 3, Alfie 18 months and four month old Charlie. Working mother Sam Zendel Ellis lives near Studley with her husband Darren and their two children, Moya 3 and McCoy 2. Sam also has a 13 year old daughter, Ella, who stays with them once a month. The two wives have agreed to swap lifestyles and homes for two weeks to see what they can learn about each other's lives. What happens when a career mum has to stay at home to look after ten children? Yesterday, I came in and Alfie was on his own and he had that in his mouth. So why don't you bring it to attention as soon as it happened, instead of leaving it to five or six things? That's just bullshit, you can shit. How does a husband who likes structure react to a shake-up in the routine? I'm doing stuff that needs to be done for my family because you're just not Emma you, you and you're not capable it. of being you've Emma. Just, you've just said... Go fuck yourself. I am a guest in your house and telling me to go F myself in front of all your children must make you really proud. And what happens when the swap comes to a sudden stop? Emma's coming home today. I said so. If you don't get her, I'll go and get her. What the fuck is up? Sit down a minute. Um, Lee's called and enter the, the swap. Right. Because he feels that Sam's a lunatic. Right. Has everybody had a wash and brush the seat? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. Emma Payne and Lee Hamlin are full-time parents yeah. to ten children. Being a mum means everything to me. You get so much love from these kids. Just looking at them and getting a smile and I love you. It's so rewarding. I'd say I'm a nan's own dad. For example, if everything in this house were left to Emma, She'd have a life of hell, wouldn't she? A lot of people judge big families. They say that big families are uncontrollable, disrespectful, but until they actually meet one hands-on, they can't. Mum's a good mum cos she, like, plays with us and she's funny and she does stuff with all of us. Yay! Ellie's turn! But it's not all fun and games when your mum and dad to ten kids. Buying food for a family of 12 is hectic. <sighs> we buy probably 18, 20 loaves of bread a week, um, 8 to 10 pints of milk a day. People are staring at us as if we're feeding 10,000. With 12 people living under one roof, Emma and Lee run their house with structure and discipline. Someone start taking these in. The family have set meal times. Right, who's been told off at school today then? And everyone mucks in with the chores. Mum always needs help. And I wash the pots and brush the floor. Emma had her first child when she was 16. Ten kids later and at the age of 34, she's hoping to pursue a career. I'm finding it difficult because I've got ten children for employers to take me on. Now, if I lied and said I'd got two, they'd probably accept me. But mum of two, Sam Zendel Ellis, has no such problems. She works full time running her own sweet shop. How about we go for icy cups? That's an only favourite. Okay. I think I'm far better as a working mother than I would be as a stay at home mother. I would be unhappy. I am not an earth mother. Crafting and drawing and colouring and getting the plast scene out and doing messy play. I do not enjoy that at all. Right. Sam and so husband Darren are parents to three-year-old Moya and two-year-old McCoy. Well, Sam I'm also has another daughter, 13-year-old Ella, who has lived with her father since I'll she was three. three. Ella, that's enough. I don't really often come here anymore. At first it was hard, but now it's just normal. 
Because Ella lives with her dad, I have to mentally detach myself from her. I regret completely leaving her with her dad. I would love her to live here with me, she doesn't want to. In Sam Zendel Ellis's house, although weekends are family time... So I'm doing three different meals tonight, <laughs> yeah. then. As a working mum who runs her own sweet shop, time is precious. <laughs> and juggling work and the kids can be an added strain. Oi, stop, you two! Both Moira and McCoy can be devil children. It's a constant battleground in this house. Let's do your fleece up. To grow Sam's business, Darren has put his carpentry work on hold to look after the kids and help out in the shop. That's my responsibility. I don't really have a designated role as such. I just do me bit. But that's not quite how Sam sees it. I haven't checked my emails for two days. Despite putting in a full day's work, when Sam comes home, there's more work. Generally, most roles in the house are mine. With regards to Darren, he is like a fourth child because I do have to accommodate him like I do the children. Nagging him to do things, getting him to do things, asking him to do things over and over again. That's not just me, though. That's men in general. Two, three, four. It's the day of the swap See and later. the two wives are preparing to leave home. But when you've got ten kids, saying goodbye can take some time. I love you. See you later. I just hope the new wife looks after my kids. Before they meet their new husbands, Emma and Sam have a chance to explore their new homes. Oh, it smells lovely. Not finished decorating that yet. Three. No. Two kids, I'd say. Right, I'm really hoping this is for the jumble sale because it says naught to three months on it, so otherwise it means I'm getting a newborn. A chilling out, relaxing room where Dad plays, I'd say. There are three beds, so there are one, two, three young boys in here. I found receipts for lots of sweets to the owner shop. We've obviously got a few girls as well now. I haven't found the baby one yet. So we're on to at least six children so far. And I've just seen bunk beds in another room. <laughs> I'm going to be in a shop <laughs> with sweets. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There are ten children <laughs> in this house. <laughs> Oh my God, and there's two babies. I don't think I've got the patience for 10 children. I've hardly got the patience for two. Each wife has left a written manual as a guide to the running of their home. Right. In terms of running our house, we run a tight ship. How could we not? Lee and I share most of the chores and the children are very good at doing their bit too. Lee seems quite involved in the housework um, so far, so he does seem like he's a great help and he doesn't seem like he has to be asked to do things like my husband. I feel like I do everything in the house and Darren does very little. So she's having to run a business, a house. I don't know how she puts up with him. The most important thing in my life is my children and my partner. Nothing comes before them. I can think of nothing more rewarding than being a mother surrounded by my children. Ugh. It's the exact opposite for me. Being a mother isn't enough for me. I also have a daughter, Ella, 13, from a previous relationship, but she lives with her dad. I would say that the kids are definitely on par with the shop in terms of my priorities all my life. How can you say that? That is so terrible. No wonder your daughter's not with her. Hello. Hi. Nice to meet you, Sam. Hi, Ellie. Hi, Sam. Hello. My name's Dave. Okay, you're Ellie. Fallon and Shannon, that should be quite good. I'm Sam. I'm Callum. Hi, Callum. This is Mason. Hi, yeah. Mason. Hi, Jordan. Hi, Hi Mitchell. Uh, this is Alfie. Hello, Alfie. Hello. And this is Charlotte. Beautiful. Hello. Hello. Hiya. Hiya. Hiya, I'm Darren. Hiya. Nice to meet you. Ella, nice um, to meet you. Hey, darling. Hello. <laughs> Come here. McCoy. Hello, darling. I'm Emma. 
I've got 10 children. 10? Yes. Oh, wow. So can you imagine what your mum <laughs> wow. is thinking <laughs> right now? <laughs> I can't, I'm, I'm shocked and I'm not even there. 10 children, God, that's a lot. No sooner than they've met, Darren is off to his weekly football yeah. match. Right, Daddy's got to go football. Emma's left to cook dinner for the kids, and unlike in her own home, the children choose what they want to eat. What would you like on your pasta? Cheese. Oh, do you like cheese? Yeah. Yeah, will you eat it? Yeah, good girl. So I'm putting pasta and butter on the plate. Yeah. She'll help herself to the cheese. Yeah. <laughs> right. I am so not a waitress and I feel like one right now. After a busy day at work, the last thing I want is awkwardness. But I think Sam would benefit from just making one meal, putting her foot down. She really needs to say, right, this is how it's going to be from now on. I need scrambled eggs. You don't need scrambled eggs. You'd like scrambled eggs. Why don't you try the pasta a bit more? She's so busy. Darren's got his football in his pool. When does Sam get that break? All right, this is it then. You're going to be very brave eating my food, but I'll do my best. All right, wish me luck. Do you want to, do you want to just sit and watch TV or whatever? Sam is facing her first night cooking for 12, but at the Hamlins, it's a team effort. I like to sort of be spontaneous sometimes and do things like surprise holidays and buying the things. And just, it's nice to just get a reminder that she's appreciated. My husband doesn't ever do anything like that. It's a real problem in our house because I do so much in our house and I don't remember him ever really doing anything spontaneous like that. It was just really nice to have somebody to help me do the dinner. It was wonderful. Lee is completely different to Darren as a husband. Lee is, um, seems to be a very thoughtful person and seems to be constantly thinking how to make other people happy. Have you had enough? With regards to the morning, I'm concerned that it's going to be really chaotic because we're on a tight deadline and there's a lot of children to get ready there. I'm kind of both excited and scared about what tomorrow is going to bring. Working mum of two, Sam Zendel Ellis, is now living traditional mum, Emma Hamlin's life, looking after ten kids. Are you alright to take that in? Yeah. God, you're amazing. I'm keeping you. If it was my life, I would be going to the shop sort of five, six days a week. Whereas here, every day, it's just about children and housework. So let's just go and round up the other troops. Getting ten kids up and seven ready for school is no easy task but the Hamlins work as a team. OK, we've got to do your hair. I'm going to do... OK, Sam. Can I go on? Dylan. Dylan, have you got yours? Yeah. Hello. Hello. This house doesn't seem to have as much of a, as a routine as I was first led to believe. It is organised chaos, and I think that it would probably be served better if the children had their assigned role. I don't know Sam that well yet, but I feel I could... I could talk to her, I could have a laugh with her, do you know what I mean? So, you never know, her and Darren could go down on his list of friends. Could you do a little bit more here for me? Where's Alfie? Oh. Just to check he's all right. So I'd just like to know he's with somebody in a room. Shannon, did you find Alfie? Yeah. He's in there. OK, cool. Alfie seems to wander around and I find him in lots of different places on his own a lot. I just went into the other room and he had a dice in his mouth. He's just at an age where he's just prone to so much danger. Normally Emma Hamlin's morning involves cooking breakfast for a brood of ten. But as a working mum, it's rush, rush, rush to get off to the sweet shop. You show up. Oi. Don't do swearing. Uh, McCoy, come here, please. Don't swear, babe. Come here. Have you finished your breakfast? No. We'll go and eat your breakfast then, please. I was really disgusted that McCoy just swore and Darren did nothing. 
Mitchell swore at me once and I chased him around the house with a bar of soap. I've got ten children that are controllable and in this house it seems like they are getting uncontrollable. They're going to end up having kids that have got asbos. After a busy morning routine, stay-at-home mum Emma now faces a seven-hour shift in the shop. Oh, they smell lovely. They are very nice. Shop yeah. 88? Yes, it's OK. Yeah. I've got to tell Darren what sort of life this is for Sam. She's getting up, doing the breakfast, getting the kids ready for the day, coming to the shop and Darren's doing what? Not a lot by all accounts. There's your two pence change. Right, thank you. Thanks ever so much. Nice to meet you. you. I'll so get a manual now. I'd love to sit him down and say, read this word for word and appreciate this woman. After spending the day at home with ten kids, Sam has a few issues to raise with Lee. The reason that I need to talk to you is I am getting concerned about Alfie because I feel that, probably because Emma's not here, that he's um, getting into potentially dangerous situations. I really don't mean this is a criticism. I came in and Alfie was on his own and he had that in his mouth. OK? Yeah, so why, why didn't you tell me then? Or why didn't you just you tell me? You weren't around something? at the time. I just so where were they? Him. I can't remember. You weren't in the room, but you weren't well, off. Well, you weren't no, off. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute right? You're criticising me, saying I'm not there with Alfie, no. but you don't know what we're doing. So at what time? I'm are not criticising that you, you weren't are, there you with are, Alfie. Yeah, you are. You're criticising me on camera with my children. No. So rather well, than getting well, defensive, I'm, well, please I'm just let me defend myself. Okay. You're saying I'm shit, Dad. But, no, I'm not at all. You myself. didn't even let me finish. I'm not saying for a minute that you were out in another room, sat with your feet up. And I know this is hard to take, but please understand, I've got but to go through this with you because but the thing is. If I were busy doing something, Emma would always know where Alfie and Charlie is. Always. I can't be doing other things in the house that need to be You're not shifting the responsibility of that onto me. I'm not shifting no I've brought it to your attention and that's not the only thing I need to bring to your attention. That's one of the things that I've found. And that's just bullshit, you can shit. Show it up your ass. Jess Sunday gets in that fucking car now and gets Emma back. Now! Can we talk about it not in front of the kids? I just don't want to talk to you, Sam. I thought, well, why don't you go and have a cup of tea and calm down then? I'm not going to calm down. This is my house. Don't dare tell me what to do. I'm patronising you to calm down. House. I'm not trying to patronise well, you. You're shouting at me in front of children. I'm this not all right. I'm not going to talk about you in front of the kids, so... I'm really sorry, all right? Are you all right? If things have gone wrong, why haven't you dealt with it? Emma would. So she's clearly, obviously, not Emma, is she? But then again, she never could be Emma anyway in no way, shape or form. After some time out, Lee's calmed down. I'm not going to put any blame on you whatsoever. I was wrong, right, in leaving you we all, we, we, with all the kids and to do the things with the kids, right? Okay. And I'm wrong and I apologise. And how you've been with my kids, any, any, any dad would be proud to have you as a wife. Thank you. I'm sorry, Oh, mate. me too. I'm sorry. The shop might be closed. But according to Sam's manual, Emma's day's not over as she heads home to cook dinner for Darren and the kids. Hello. Oh yeah. Right, quick question. Okay. Oh, um, rice. How do you do rice? Because I balls it up every time, basically. Can I ask you something? Yeah. In the manual. Yes. The Bible. Yes. It says that you never ever cook. It says that you do not a lot. Right. Okay. Maybe I do a lot more than she realises. I'm not saying that you're lying to me. No. But That's fine. it's like contradicting things. Hmm. I'll have to keep checking the manual. There's a bit of bullshit going about. It needs to be confronted. He tells me one thing, she tells me another. Who's doing that sleepy face, Dad? No one ever no wants one to hear that they're crap. Never say I'm perfect, not by a long <coughs> shot, but. No one wants to hear their crap. That's that's so it's it's hard to it's a hard pill to swallow. 
Another issue in the manual that Emma's keen to explore is why Ella's lived with her father since she was three. It must have been so hard for him to make that decision. But I think she might feel guilty for doing that in some way. Yeah, but she doesn't, she doesn't like let it affect her very much. Do you think she's got this active life to stop thinking about emotional stuff? Um, not really, because she just has a, like a, she's always had an energetic life. It's always, yeah, it's always been, busy, yeah, busy. up and go, really. I was talking to Ella earlier on and she straight away said that she's got a really good bond with her dad. She loves him to bits because he's always been there. And I felt a bit sad because she should still have that bond with Sam. It's the weekend and Emma Hamlin's back at work. Now, it feels weird being Sam because in my home, I interact with the kids a lot more. In Sam's world, the priority is the shop, um, then the children, whereas really it needs to be the kids first. There you are. Thanks very much. Thanks. See you, bye. As Emma arrives home to spend a night in, Darren has planned a night out for them both. Right. Tonight, can't go out because some Bible says Saturday evening Darren might go to the pub or go to see his friend's band it's extremely rare that I get to go out with my friends right okay okay no I'm, not, I'm just quite uh, quite hurt by that actually quite actually because that's nothing that's really pissed me off to be honest Darren was totally disgusted by what Sam's wrote in the manual for a Saturday evening um, by all accounts, it's a load of bullshit. I Why do you think she's done it, though? I have no idea at all. Mm. If that if it's that bad and I'm such a lazy fucker and go out all the time and do fuck all without her, well, what's, what's she wasted her time with me for? Right. With the manual in dispute, Emma to decides to show it to Darren. Right. <sighs> I'm hemmed en in on all sides by Darren and the kids. But Darren never offers to take control of things and let me relax. He makes me feel uncomfortable leaving him in charge. I'd like to know why she feels uncomfortable leaving, why she thinks I can't, hold, can't look after the kids, or... Well, I would like to know what that's all about. They're my kids at the end of the day. She knows full well that I'd fucking walk through broken glass for them, so... Yeah. As for not being able to fucking trust me, like... One of you is lying yeah. and... I, I know you. Yeah. And I feel that not everything in there is true. Come here. Come here. Okay, all right. Go on. <laughs> in my eyes, is a really nice bloke. He's found out that his wife is now seeing him in a totally different light. It sounds like she just does not like him at all. And what's she doing with him? If she's not happy. I'm just thinking if I'm so shit, why have we wasted all this time? Kids are not the reason to stay together. As much as, as much as I love my kids, we can't keep making each other's lives a misery for it. My, my, my gut feeling is, is enough's enough. Let's not let's not waste any more of each other's time. Most of Sam's evenings are usually a mix of work and chores, but tonight it's family games at the Hamlins. <laughs> Simon says, Simon says, touch your ears, stroke your belly. Ooh, <laughs> Lee, your turn. Simon says, wiggle your toes. Which one? On the one that's on the floor. I've been much more patient with these children than I am with my own. And I've been having much more fun with these children than I do with my own. And that's making me reflect on some of the things that I'm lacking in, in my own family life. I think Sam's nice and she's, like, she's done good to 
get to know us and I know it would be scary to <coughs> find out that you're looking after 10 kids and she's doing good. After last night, Darren's been reflecting on his relationship with Sam. I shaved it off because Sam's always said it makes me look too young, so I've kept it really for that reason because I've been unsure. But, you know, at the moment, I'm going to do what I'm going to do. No, I'm not shaving my hair off. No, that would be silly. There's a huge doubt in my mind at the moment, so... Yeah, I'm not just going to chuck it in because we'll see what happens from the end of this. Maybe this might help her to realise that I'm not such a shit person. At the Hamlins, Lee's taken son Mason to football training, leaving Sam to juggle cooking a roast for 12 with keeping an eye on all the kids. Where are the children? I thought they were going out in the garden. What are you doing, Dylan? Are you sure you're shutting the gate? Come in, please, because there's nobody out here with you. I thought Shannon's somebody was with you. Here. No, Shannon's gone to the shop. Mm. Oh, what am I burning? What's going on? <laughs> Fallon says you're trying to hit her with something. You're not doing that. Well, I'm going to be watching out the window now, OK? Now, shall I do the veg first or the chops? I'm stressed. I'm getting wrong, I'm getting really upset now. <laughs> this goddamn kitchen, I feel like I'm, you know, from the moment I come in here, I haven't really left. I don't know whether Lee's back yet, so I need to check. This has been a miserable day for me. It's been probably my lowest point. Um, I am getting very tense about this rule change. Not for the children, I think it's going to be great for the children. I just don't believe that Lee is going to be receptive to it and I think it's, um, it's uh, affecting everything in me today. It's rule change day and both wives are preparing to bring new regimes into their homes. You want to sit with Daddy? Right. Darren, I feel strongly that you are lovely people, but need guidance to become a lovely family. What's your name? It's time for you to see what Sam feels her life is like. So from now on, you will run the shop and I will stay home with the children. OK? OK, you do all do a really good job of helping out in this house. Yeah. But it's very sort of hit and miss and for the next few days you've got your own jobs so if they don't get done the only person who you've got to blame is yourself and I have actually written down a chore list which we'll look at after. Ella I feel that your mum should make more of an effort to spend more one-to-one -one time with you so each week we now have Ella time where you get to be with your mum alone. How do you feel about that? That'd be really nice yeah. I'm hoping that the new rules that we put in place will contribute to helping an Emma be able to work if she wants to. So as an experiment, I've got a part-time job. Parenting is the hardest job on the face of the earth. I don't know of a harder job. So I've arranged for me and you to just go out. It doesn't have to be for very long, but I want you to do it to see if you enjoy it and to remind you why you work so well together. Is that one all right? Fine. Well, good, because I'm really looking forward to that one. In my house, everyone pulls their weight. In your house, I see chaos, so there's no structure. So from now on, TV is off, and you will have to use your imagination on how else to occupy your children. They'll get used to doing something else then. OK. OK? Smoya, stop winding him up. Um, I think it'll work for, for the time, like, yeah, no problem. As Darren is now doing Sam's role both at home and at work, he gets on with the chores, leaving Emma to be a hands-on mum. Right then, shall we do a M for McCoy? Because I gave them a pen and a piece of paper and they were drawing around my hand. 
they got so into it. I've had all this one-to-one -to -one tonight and it's probably the most I've had in weeks. And I'm so proud of myself for bringing this into this family because I really think they needed it. Although the Hamlin kids do chores, Sam's now assigned them specific tasks so they know what they're supposed to be doing. So tidying up Callum and Dylan, they're going to need a bit of supervision with that and a bit of direction, you know, but that is their job. And if you don't see them doing it, you've got to let us know. Obviously, Ellie and uh, uh, Fallon haven't really got anything, but you can always, I think it's a good idea to try and get them to do a few bits, like pick this up, yeah. put that in the bin. Okay. I'm but very surprised at the rule changes. The hardest job. I feel there's been a lot of thought going into it, a lot of positive thought. You ought to put on one of Jordan's chores as well, getting your bath. Because <laughs> <laughs> he thinks it's hard to do. Gently, let's, let's love each oh, other. Yeah, it's a brave set of rules I've put in, but this is a house with ten children, so I've got to be hugely organised tomorrow, as it's the first day and they're going to be looking to me. So uh, I've got to sleep well and make sure I've got all my wits about me for tomorrow. We're running late this morning, it's half past seven already. Sam's still in bed, fast asleep. Mason and Jordan are getting kids uniforms, so I did for me. This rule change is not going to work for very long if I'm doing everything, is it? Hello. We're all late today, aren't we? But if it becomes a common occurrence then. I shall open my mouth and say something. See you later. See you later. Bye. Bye. Bye As Darren is now working at the shop, Emma can be a stay-at-home yeah, mum, and she's involving the kids in the housework. Yeah. You're good at helping, McCoy. Well done. Moya. You can't come upstairs. Why? Because you can't. Why? Is it a surprise? Yeah, I hope I'm bringing look. structure to the house. The kids have calmed down loads just with me being in charge for one day. It's so cool. Can I open now? Yeah. Wow! Yay, Moya! You're such a good girl! Yeah. At the Hamlins, Sam is now up. Under her rules, everyone has specific chores to do. But Lee suddenly decides he needs to go out. Well, it's half past nine now. Yeah, but how far is Sheffield? About half an hour away. So how long is it going to take to get ready? I'm trying to get in my head because I can't do a schedule if you're going to be back at dinner time. I'll get back as quick as I can. Oh, but I, so. I thank you, darling. That's my fault. Um, but I need, I need help with from you tonight. So while Sam, I'm, I needed your help this morning, but you were snoozing yeah. away in bed. You know what I mean? You could have woke me up. I've got to get you stuff done. Me up. I've Don't get use that as an excuse. I've got to get stuff done, tough. It's, it's right? not, no. I've got to get I stuff thought, done. Oh, right. So first, first day of the new rules, and your attitude to that is, I'm doing what I want to do regardless. No, I'm not doing what I've got to do. I'm doing, doing what needs to be done. I'm doing what needs to be done for my family. Why is it every time we have a conversation or a disagreement, you have to start bellowing? I'm doing stuff what needs to be done for my family because you're just not Emma you, and you're not said, capable of being Emma. Just, you've just said that basically you've got tea time so what, Sam, seven hours Sam, to go to Sheffield to some paperwork. Sam, go boy your head, love. That's mature. Real mature, real close. So I'm sleeping in bed when kids need to be get sorted. You should have got me up then, babe. If you were going to use that as a martyr stick, you should have woken me up. Sam, go fuck yourself. Nice. Don't defend me, Mitch. Oh, She's out of house today. Yeah. She's gone. Do you know what? I really hope that Darren isn't treating your wife the way you're treating me. Because I tell you what, he's far more mature and far more classy to ever speak to somebody like that. No, I am a guest never. in your house and telling me to go F myself in front of all your children must make you really proud. You know what does make me proud? The woman that I've got, not you. It's, it's half past nine in the morning, I'm in yesterday's clothes, right? I'm running about this morning like an headless chicken to make sure my kids are at school, while she's in bedroom, sat on a lazy ass. that's not taking piss. Come on. Emma's coming home today. I said so. If you don't get her, I'll go and get her. Take your pick. It's over, out.
Tell me now, you let me out for an hour, Sam. Sorry, Me, me, me. Me. I just want her to let me out. End of. Just get her out of my house. Tell me why, though. I don't need to tell you why. Just get her out now. Right, this is my house. Right, right get her out, right. mate. Just, just. Done, done all right. Calm down. It's my fucking house. Get her out of my house. Now. Oh, Fucking sorry. get around the house. Cameras out. He acts like a fucking animal. In front of them kids, I haven't got to say goodbye to any of the children now. In Studley, things are going from strength to strength. Right, who's coming to give me a hand in the kitchen? You coming? You gonna help go the boy? Or are you gonna go and play in the garden for a bit? Oh, you want to help Daddy? Yeah. Okay, Dad. The children are getting a bit more attention and they're more involved and the family's not here, there and there. They're all as one now. I hope Santa brings us lots of presents, says Tommy. Cool. And uh, can, where's, where's the cat? Reading the children's stories is not something I'd, I've done a great deal of, but I enjoyed myself. Where's the dog? And it was nice for them. Where's the bunny rabbit? And where's the parrot? Yeah. As Darren is looking after Moya and McCoy, yeah. Emma has time to spend with Ella. You're a big sister at home and at this home as well. Yeah, I'm just everywhere. So you how many girls and how many boys have you got? I've got four girls and six boys. Girls outnumbered. Yeah, she's such a cool kid. She spoke about how she loves doing nails and makeovers and things but she, she has to do it with friends because mum's quite busy but she's so happy that we've done it tonight. I'm hoping that my mum will keep that ruling, the one, one day a week alone with my mum thing because that's good. While Sam spends the night in a hotel, Lee has time to calm down and think things through. I have decided to carry on with wife swap. I have decided Sam can come back tomorrow. But if she thinks there's going to be a lot of begging and apologies, it ain't going to happen. Come on in, I'll take your bag for you. Okay. Do you want to come through to the kitchen? I'm just going to uh, sort the breakfast stuff out while we're chatting, if that's all right with you. I do owe you an apology for insulting you. Well, thank you for apologising, but I just want you to understand, I just don't want to get into any more long-winded conversations with you because I am afraid of what's going to happen. And, you know, and that's the, that's the honest truth. If you do decide over the next couple of days, there's things that you don't want to get off your chest. I owe you that to shut my mouth and listen. OK. Right, I owe you that, Sam. Thank you. I'm dying to see the kids. I'm right, honestly, well, I'm dying can, to can we just... Obviously, I'm going to approach it all with great trepidation, but I just want to get through one day um, without um, you know, uh, some sort of rock or something kicking off. Go sit down at the table and eat. Sit at the table now, please. You don't walk away when there's food. In Studley, Emma Hamlin's continuing with her no-nonsense approach to the kids' new routine. I hear you. McCoy, McCoy, you are eating some. All right, don't eat it, but you have nothing else. You're staying there until you eat. There you go. No one can seem to take control. No one's showing them the right way. They're just saying, yeah, go do whatever you want. When really, no, the children, they shouldn't be doing what they want. They should be showing boundaries. Do you like that bacon? Yeah. Well, try some then, and then you can go out. Good boy! Yay, McCoy! And the rest, that's it. It's lovely, isn't it? As part of the new rules, working mum Sam has a part-time job at a local newsagent. Hiya. That's it. 80 pence, please. Thank you. 
20 pence change. Thank you. Thank you very much. Bye. Bye, bye bye. Cheers. God, I'm a natural. It's wonderful to be out of that house. It's wonderful to feel like a, an adult again and a woman, uh, you know, an individual and not just a mother. Back home from work, Sam discovers that Lee hasn't done his share of the chores. The plan was that when we left at 11 o'clock, Lee would be going to the shop to get uh, some shoes for two of the children and get the salad for dinner. I came in here at three o'clock. I asked him who was picking up the children. He wasn't sure. And he said that he hadn't got the shoes and he hadn't got the salad. So, the words useful as a chocolate teapot. That would be from breakfast this morning, then I'll take it. I haven't been here, so I don't really understand what's happened today. Obviously, I didn't expect to come in and find the breakfast stuff there from this morning. For when you come in from dinner time, I'd, I wouldn't have thought that would be the norm if you've been at home all day. You told me not to do washing up. No, no, I said that I want the kids to look after things in the evening and when they're at home. The rest of the time, it's up to me and you. All right. So, but the washing up's not not my job. The my job is the the washing and the drying. No, I I think we've got confused then because I I thought I'd made it clear that that's their jobs when they're at home. But obviously, if they've been to school all day and you've been at home all day and Emma's been at home, I wouldn't expect them to clear up from this morning. So, so was I not clear about that then? I'm not wearing this, you know. I'm not wearing being spoke to like a child. I'm not wearing it, Sam. That's funny because I'm having to, you know, you might take it as me speaking to you like a child, yeah? I'm just terrified of any way I say anything to you in any way, shape or form. So I'm sorry You're only here another day. Oh, I'm here sure. we go. So you, you, sure here we go I'm again, sure. straight, straight away, you. straight away. Right. Uh, you, you haven't done, you know, I've, I've spoken to you really nicely about those rules. So it just seems to me, it doesn't matter how anybody approaches you, Lee, um, if you don't like what you're hearing, you're going to find an excuse not to handle it. I'm and the latest one is, I'm speaking to you like a child. Do you know, I, I really don't know how much I can take of this. You, how much you can take of it, yeah, because you've, you've been on the receiving end of lots of abuse, haven't you? It's stopping, right? Oh. It's stopping, it's stopping, it's stopping. Oh, I'm going to bog ask it's stopping. Kerry! Give us a kiss. Mwah. Thank you. Come and give me a cuddle. I've got to go. Can I have a cuddle before I go? No, 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 no. I'll see you later. No, 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 no. That's it. No. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Bye, darling. See you later. I'm sure later when he's calmed down, he'll stand there and say all the right things in all the right places, but it's just paying lip service because if he was truly sorry, he'd be learning from his mistakes and we wouldn't be here again within 10 minutes of being in the same room as each other. He's a selfish, selfish little man. In Chesterfield, Sam Zendel Ellis has spent a second night at a hotel. Going into a house of 10 children, I had to either sink or swim and I actually thought, based on my opinion of myself as a mother, that I would sink very quickly. Um, I haven't sunk, but that has mainly been down to those children. And I'm really gutted that I haven't got to say goodbye, that we didn't get to have our family night. I you know, woke up this morning wanting to see them. So, um, yeah, I, I, I think I've really discovered a new side to me. As well as throwing Sam out, Lee's also insisting that the other side of the swap finishes. Hi, it's me. Are you alright? What's up? What the f is up? Yeah, I know. I've, I've, I know what she's like. I so know what she's like. I'm, I'm coming. It's alright. I'll not do the table meeting. I'll just come home. That's fine. Not a problem. Darren. Can you come up here a minute, please? Sit down a minute. Um, Lee's called an end to the, the swap. Right. Because he feels that Sam's a lunatic. Right. And, um, and for the past three days, he's been trying to put an end to it and things. Okay. Sorry, I don't know what to do. I just feel 
I feel so shit because things were going so well here. But Sam's, it seems, it could be that I'm wrong, but it seems like Sam's totally fucked it up at my house. Yeah. I'm gutted that I'm going home early, but my priorities are Lee, family and friends. So if they need me, that's where I'm going to be. Have a safe journey. See you later. Say bye. Come on in. Bye. Let's get out of here. Bye. Bye. Come on in. Let's come on in, chat door. Mm. You want to bring them or You've been good? Hello! Hi! Hello! It's Mummy! It's Mummy! Who decided it was going to be over then? He did. He's kicked me out. He kicked me out in the street in my pyjamas. If it wasn't for him, I'd have had a wonderful time. It's hard, because right. there's ten kids, but yeah. he is just unreachable. I tried my hardest to be nice with the woman. You know, I've said yeah. all nice things about her, made her welcome and everything, but every opportunity she wanted in argument, she wanted tussling all the time, she just constantly wanted. Which is what her husband said. Her manual is nothing like her house. Right. And I think that I, I really tried to be honest about in the manual. I, I had some bits in that manual has really, really broke me. In what way broke you? Yeah, in some of the things and what you what you think about me and that, and it's just been really hard. And we, we it's something we need to talk about. But to be so honest, I don't think there's anything that I haven't said to you. It, it sounded like I was an absolutely lazy pig who'd done nothing. And but there's nothing in that manual I haven't said to you. Well, I don't mean, after what I've been through the last week, I don't really think that that's fair to bring that up to me at the moment. Well, I do, because I think it needs to be said. Well, I don't think it needs to be said at the moment. Right, well, that's your opinion once again. No, see, no, this is it. I think if you genuinely put what you've written in that manual is is what you think about me, then I don't see why we're together anymore, because I'm, I'm just a waste okay. of space. So I've just lived with a man, I've told you, that's yeah. been abusive all week, and what you're now concerned about is how you feel. It's a month on, and family life is back to normal at the Hamlins. We didn't want to live Shannon, did you? I think since the swap, I've realised what I've got. I see my life as being how I want it to be. You want to live it, don't you, mate? Yeah, well, I don't want to live We never went into the swap because we got problems, you know. We, we didn't have any problems. We were happy with just us. But I think all it's done is made things stronger for us. But there are changes for Emma as a stay-at-home mum. I'm now doing a midwifery course full-time because I've got lots of experience in that field, obviously. One thing I've realised is that me and Emma need to spend time just me and Emma. We need to be Lee and Emma as well as mum and dad. The swap has also had an impact at the Zendel Ellis's. Despite whatever flaws we have in our relationship, we want to make it work and we want to be the best sort of team that we can be, really. Would you mm. agree with that? Yeah. No? <laughs> yeah, no, no, I would, I would, yeah. But we got, we still got things we, we got to work on, but yeah. Ready, steady. Having enjoyed a being a mum of ten, Sam's outlook it? on parenting has <laughs> changed. If I push you too hard, you'll My attitude off. in respect of Ella and the impatience I had with Moira and McCoy since I've been back from the swap has been considerably different. I kind of made a, a decision while I was away that I would make a lot more effort with Ella when I got back. My relationship's improved quite a lot with Emma because then um, like, we talk a lot more about things like but before we might have been like a bit more quieter and stuff. One of the things I did get from living with Lee, it did make me reflect on the the nice qualities in Darren, particularly how much effort he puts into our relationship and his role as a father. The fact that Sam now, now appreciates me a bit more um, is, is a good thing, I suppose. It's about time, to be honest. Go on. You want to go really fast. Whee!
dicen los... Es 